Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Boardmasters with me Chris Mullins and me Chris Reed. and today we are playing the spiritual sequel to Villagers we are playing Streets by Sinister Fish Games and there's a lot of pressure on this one for us because it's following on from a, a 10 out of 10 game from both of us and yeah spoiler we are very keen on it so far it's definitely doing a good job of living up to its legacy yeah with this one we are we've got the deluxe kickstarter edition so we are playing with the business expansion as well as the consultant expansion so my consultant is the investor so when claiming a new building i can place two ownership tokens on it to double the value and when i score my buildings all hipster cards symbols count as wild including the one printed on the card you are the hipster legend okay uh so let's dive in are you going first uh yeah i'll go first that's all right yeah sure Or the vinyl shop. Very hipster of you. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go south with a high end tailor. I might actually double that one up. No, I won't. I'll hold off. For the fast cars. Oh, yeah. That's a, a nice card. I do like that one. Okay. Um, I think I will keep the shopping theme going and get a posh nightclub. That one I am going to put two ownership tokens on. Yeah. No, it needs to have a street connecting to it. Yeah, so you can put it off that one or or obviously you can keep building out this way. Yeah, I'll keep that. A couple of greens in there. I think I'm going to close this one off. So, scoring wise, you have got one, you get a credit card, and I am going to get the two food. I'll just check with my investor does that, because I've doubled that one up, do I get double the business tokens? Yep. Oh no, it doesn't. does not give you double business tokens, sadly, so I only get two food instead of four. That would have been a handy boost. Mm. Uh, okay, so for my nightclub, $3 for each building you own in street, so I own two, plus a meeple, so that is $7 times two, which is 14. And for my other one, $2 for each shopping symbol in the street, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 plus two is 14. But 28 was it? Yeah. Okay, and for you, $3 for every two shoppers in the street. There is five shoppers, so you're gonna get six plus two. So you're gonna get eight. Back to you. Oh, the weird restaurant. Five dollars for each set. Okay. You need the yellow on there. I am going to go and put a sushi restaurant next to your weird restaurant. 
and I'm going to double that one as well. I'm going to enclose that street, enclosing that one with your student housing. Okay, so I only own one, so I'm going to get one food. And you've got a choice of a credit card, a house, or a food. I'll go for a, a house. I've got all these FOMO'd tourists need to come to my sushi restaurant. And that parent should be in your loft. Okay. Uh, so which one did you go for? Credit card? Or a house. A house. Okay. Fine. On to scoring. Expert shop. Five dollars for every two hipster symbols. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So that is going to be ten plus two meeples is twelve. Two dollars for each hipster symbol. One, two, three, four, five. So that's ten plus three parents is thirteen. Five dollars for each set of a tourist and a hipster symbol. So you've got one. Presuming that's a wild, you've got two. Presuming that's a wild, you've got three. So that's going to be 15, 16. So that hipster legend bonus really well, gave you an extra ten dollars there. All these yellow ones, I presume you're going to want to move to your student house. Yeah. I don't think there's any alternative there anyway, but. And then my one, I have got, oh yeah, you take back your yeah, ownership. Five dollars for every blue and yellow. So that's one, two, plus six meeples. So I have got 20 from the double up to plus six, so 26. Double up's quite good. Yeah, I mean, it limits you on the ownership, obviously. It can force you potentially into abandoning more often than you want to, but I'm going to go for the parent home in there. And I'm going to claim those meeples. A poor lonely, I oh, know we've got the Shoppers, it's the tourist. The pink one hasn't been out yet. No, she's still stuck at the station, dear. <laughs> I'll put money on that, not an ownership taken. And I am going to double that up actually. Oh, the junk art statue. Popular with the tourists and the hipsters. Finally. <laughs> yeah, it's got something to see. Put my optimistic DIY in play. Do love the way this game can just go in any and all directions. You never get to lay out the same deal. No. Makes it difficult to plan a table presence, mind. <laughs> the amount of times we have to move things around. Incredible daycare. Okay. Right, I am going to close this one off. So I am going to, what symbol do I want? What have you got over there? Credit Hiding cards. them under your money. Credit card and a... a credit card and a house. Uh, I think I will take a house. And then, right, so this one, $2 for each building in the street. So that's going to be four. That's right. And then this one, which I've doubled up, is two dollars for each parent symbol. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten. So twenty 
24 because you don't double the meeple scores as far as I'm aware. Yeah, just the just the valuation. So I got 24 on that one. And these meeples are gonna go down to my burger joint. And I'll swap them out for the big one. Okay. So I need 24. I'll give you one change. Mm. Yeah. These ones are like gold dust at times, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, especially near the end. Yeah. Alrighty. There's my ownerships. Okay. Okay. So you score in that street now? Yep. Let's go in there. Okay. So you've got the choice of a house, two smiley faces, two houses, or a wild card. Okay, for two smiley faces. Alrighty. And then, right. So scoring this one, that's just going to score. Are you doing it that way or are you doing it um, closed? Um, it's going to get me more points if I do it in closed, isn't it? Um, no, if you leave it that way, you'll at least score the meeples. But... Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, so you'll get three for the meeples on that one. Yep. This one, three dollars for each building you own in the street, so that's four. So that's twelve plus meeple is thirteen. He's going to move across to my burgers because that's the only one that's green that's free. Uh, junk art statue is four plus the meeples, which is seven. And then six dollars for it being enclosed, plus four, so ten. Do I use my the hipster legend? I use? Well, none of them were based off symbols in that street, so it didn't really benefit you there. Okay. Okay. Place a little grooming salon, playing the blue ones. I'm not going to double own that one because there's no value really. So I can play this construction site, swap this for an unowned building, then build the swapped building. Yeah, so you put that where you want and then swap it for any that doesn't have an ownership token. If it has meeples on it, they move with it. Oh, that's quite a good card. It is, uh, for getting, certainly for tidying up a street you want. So I can use any any street that's not been any any tile that hasn't been claimed. constructed or hasn't been doesn't have an ownership taken on. Okay. I'll go for this one. Right, where are you gonna build it? And I will build it here. Okay. To you. Oh, I get to claim those. And close that. Okay. So you won't score. You know you won't score anything off that. No. No, because none of the ones within the street. Are. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You happy? Okay. Yeah. As long as you're happy. I'm going to put the old tavern in here. Do some pink scoring. Unfortunately, I don't have enough ownership tokens to double up, but I will take a house, please. And then 
two dollars for each Taurus symbol in the street. So I've got three, so that's going to be six plus the meeples is nine. So I'll give you one back. And then three, uh, seven dollars for each three symbols. So I've got three, so that's seven plus a meeple is eight. Again, I can give two change, and these are all going to have FOMO because there is no. Oh no, they're not. They're going to go to your colossal head. Get the giant meeples involved again and draw mine. Oh, a ball pull. claim this one right so you have got a smiley face I am gonna get a credit card please and then let's do your scoring so one dollar for each parent in the street so that's one two three four nine ten And I'll do my giant toy store, which is two dollars for every parent in the street. Ooh, so I'm going to get nice. twenty plus I doubled it, so I'm going to get forty for that one. Wow, <laughs> that That's was a lucrative. Good card. And then six dollars if it's enclosing, which it is, plus the six on top. That's going to be twelve. And then this one is four plus the meeples, which are another eight. So that's going to be twelve as well. That was a good one for you. That was a very nice streak for me. Uh, right, so these green, these are all going to get FOMO. Lots of greens and blues. Desperate to go and visit something else. Yeah, no, I'm great. Any greens or blues? Oh, good. That's it. I'm happy with that. I have a green, but not one that is going to be particularly useful at the moment, I don't think. Do we need uh, two yellows on the bicycle repair bar? Yep. Hmm, that's kind of where I was planning to go, but that may well just change my mind a bit. There's the last card. Oh, we're there already? Mm. Wow, okay. I'm going to go up here instead then. And that's going to claim all these FOMO meeples. I badly wanted to claim those, but I couldn't. And I... I'm going to double rain it. At this stage of the game, why not? Well, yeah, for that amount of points. Well, it's not going to double the people, sadly. I will enclose that. No, oh, you haven't enclosed this side yet, though. So you haven't quite enclosed it. I get these. You do get the blues. Yeah, those ones. Can't pick one up. <laughs> Let's put my ice cream shop up there. Going up there. Nice, that's a decent scorer for you. I'm going to enclose this one, I think. Okay, so I'm going to get, uh, I've got a wild card, so I'm going to have a smiley face and you get a food. Okay, so $2 for every building surrounding this one. 
So that's one, two, three. I'm going to get six for that. And then you get two dollars for each parent symbol in the street. Uh, but obviously your hipster ones are wild. So that's going to count as one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to get ten plus two for your meeples. So twelve. And you've got a choice of putting these two meeples on my craft coffee or your student housing. Yeah, housing. <laughs> I thought you might say that. And and that's the scoring for that one. So back to you. I'm going to close that. Okay. So you've got an ownership for that one. I haven't got an ownership for that. Was, oh, oh yeah, taken. from that one, for that one, it's claimed. Okay, so for you, have got a choice of a smiley face or a credit card. Um, I'll take a credit card. Alrighty, and I have got a smiley face. And, right, so in terms of scoring... Two dollars for each tourist in the street, that is five. So you're gonna get ten dollars for that one. And then six if it's an enclosed building plus the five, so you're gonna get eleven on that one. And they're gonna move on to my sweet ice cream because it's the only pink available. And then I have got six dollars for each two pinks. So there's one two and two wilds so that's going to be twelve dollars times two is twenty four nice plus six seven eight nine one two three plus eleven plus eleven plus eleven for the meeples and there is no greens for them to go so they are going to get FOMO oh it takes ages to get them stood up when they're that many and then my last go, what was I planning to do with this? Let's just stick it somewhere in the middle where it's going to trigger straight away. Let's just put it there. And I might as well double own it. So $5 for each set of Shopper and tourist, there's one of each, so that's going to be five, but double duck gives me ten. Oh, now we're out of tens as well now. And then right into the business scoring. Oh, and I should I get a credit card for that as well. And they move on to there with that. Okay, so I've got three food. How about you? I've got one food. Okay, so I'll get 10 for that. And I've got two credit cards. I've got two credit cards. So we get five each. Um. <laughs> Let's uh, swap some I fives. I swap a 20 for four fives. So can I? Uh, we get five each. We get five each. I have got two houses. I've got one house. So I get another 10. And then I've got two smiley faces. I've got three smiley faces. So you get another ten. I've got one, two, one full set, and two full sets. So I get another twenty. Or one full set. Okay. So into final scoring. Let's get tallying. Do we need to do this? Oh yeah, of course we do. We need to do the half ones. Um, so for you, we have got six dollars for it being enclosed, plus one, two, three, four, five, ten meeples, so sixteen divided by two is eight. So get twelve back. Yeah, yeah, and that's that one. Your luxury apartments again is six plus the meeples, which again is eight, so fourteen divided by two, so seven for that one. And this one. One dollar for each person in the street, so you get nothing on that one. For me, four dollars for each wild symbol in the street is nothing, so I have one divided by two. <laughs> Rounded up is one. And then this one, six dollars for every two shopper, there's obviously nothing, but there is seven 
meeple, so I get four for that one. Oh, we got that. Okay, so okay. now we're into final scoring. I think you might have won this one. I feel like that was a very successful round for me. The investor, I think I was able to use that ability really well. Yeah. I suppose the hipster legend one is powerful if you're getting things like, you know, the trendy loft where you're getting points for every hipster symbol. Yeah. Or if you happen to have streets with a lot of hipster symbols in. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's another hundred. Okay. Ten. Twenty. Definitely my biggest score so far. I've got 160, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 166. I've got 264. Wow. <laughs> that is. You got like over 100 points more than me. Well, 98, wasn't it? You got 166. Yeah. Wow. That is definitely the first time yeah. we've had a discrepancy like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. These seem to be very, potentially very powerful. I think so. Because what well, was the entrepreneur was very powerful when I had that as well. And I can't remember, the uh, realtor was very powerful yeah, when you had that. Yeah, these definitely, I think whoever has this, whoever's had this, the most powerful card has won that particular yeah. game. I'm not convinced these are particularly balanced. No. Let's be honest. Um, okay. But that is the gameplay for Streets. So we are going to record our review in just a second and that will be up in a couple of days' time. So keep an eye on the channel if you want to check that out. But thank you for joining us. Look after yourself, stay safe and have a good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.